another video. We're going to be talking about the S&P 500, ticker symbol SPY, which you should be watching every day the market is open. And we're also going to go over all the news that we got this week, Monday, July 17th, all the way to Friday, July 21st. We're going to go over what time the news comes out, what news it is, and how I'd be looking to potentially play the news after or before. So smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. And remember, when you're in the market, you want to know when the news is coming and what news it is and what time the news is coming as well if you're trading in these markets. So we're going to go over that first. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. Be, um, make sure it's the right one. There are scam accounts going around. That's why I'm showing you the correct spelling here. Okay. This is the only one. Now, Monday, July 27th, we got news pre-market an hour before the market opens. We got Empire State Manufacturing Index. You want to have that move first in pre-market. Once the market opens, probably wait another 15 to 30 minutes and then potentially look for trades because this is going to have a big movement pre-market and you want to see from that movement, is it going to continue or is it going to reverse and so forth? So make sure you kind of watch out for that. Tuesday, July 18th, we got a more news pre-market. We got the core retail sales month over month and retail sales month over month. And then we have a little more news coming out 15 minutes before the market opens, which is industrial production month over month. So you want both of those news to come out. And again, 15, 30 minutes, let the market move a little bit to see how it's going to do. If it crashes down a lot after this, off the core retail sales, look to see if that's going to continue to give you a direction or is it going to reverse to give you a direction remember before you look for trades you got to have that direction you think price is going to go wednesday july 19th we got some news coming out building permits pre-market as well i feel like we won't get too much moving off of this not like monday and tuesday so this comes out pre-market as well so by the time the market opens we should be good to go on that wednesday news thursday we got unemployment claims coming out uh pre-market again the philly fed manufacturing index coming out pre-market again then we have more news coming out at existing home sales 30 minutes after the market opens so thursday you're probably going to wait a little bit longer maybe like 45 minutes after the market opens to really see what price is going to do because we got news 30 minutes after so just be mindful of that because if you try to play too early and then this news comes out it could move that price the opposite way okay so you don't want to hurt yourself if you don't have to and then friday july 21st we got no news okay so that's all the news for the week now let's go over some spy levels um we have a resistance on spy actually probably like around so i'm gonna say we got resistance on spy like around 453 so just in case spy continues up, you want to be watching at that area. That's a heavy resistance area as well, which I feel like it could maybe if it runs up here, it'll have that next pull down, kind of like the pull down that it had right here. So be mindful of that resistance area around 453. We could start the pull down now. Nothing says it has to go hit that level, then come down. But that is a level we need to be watching out for. Support would be right around 448 that we could watch out for as well. Like I said, you want to know what's going to happen, where support, where resistance, where you believe SPY is going to go every day because that can help you with your other stocks as well. If SPY is bullish, maybe your other stocks might be bullish as well. It'll kind of just all go together. So these are your main two areas right now of SPY and uh, resistance. Do I believe SPY will be bullish or bearish this week? I'm only letting the team know that. Usually I let them know every night, nightly videos. As you guys know, it is closed. You're not able to join the team anymore. But if you click the first link in the description, you'll be able to um, put your email in to know when we open back up. You'll be the first to know. Because when I open back up, maybe in a month, it would only be open for a couple of days and then I'm going to close it again. Okay, so make sure you're the first to know. Whenever I open back up, first link in the description, you'll click where it says sold out. Right when you click that where it says sold out, you'll be able to put your email in. And once I open back up, you'll be the first to know. Okay. Thank you guys for watching the video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in that next one. Bye.